Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today I'm going to be making a guide on how to use the bunker and make money as a solo player in Grand Theft Auto Online. The bunker is one of the most simple yet most misunderstood businesses in the entire game and today I'm going to be explaining how the business works and how I make money with it as a solo player in Grand Theft Auto Online. So we're going to go ahead and jump inside of the bunker and I'm going to explain how this business works. So within the bunker there are two main ways to earn money. The first of those ways was added with the Criminal Enterprises DLC that just got released into Grand Theft Auto Online and it involves this truck right here. If you see this truck within your bunker as you walk in the front door, that means that it is available to make you some money. So what you can do in order to use this truck is simply come up to it and launch a mission and this mission basically will get you to deliver a shipment of guns to a randomly selected ammunition somewhere on the map. And then of course there is the traditional way of making money with the bunker that involves the computer that's located just behind me. But first of all I'm going to explain how to make some money with the ammunition deliveries. So let's get started. When you get outside you will be given a ammunition to drive to. For example the one that I am going to be going to is in the city and it's near the Del Perro Heights apartment. Now when you're doing these missions occasionally enemy NPCs will spawn in behind you however they are usually driving very very slow vehicles and most of the time I find you can just outrun them and you won't even have to have any sort of confrontation with them at all. Now these ammunition deliveries are available every 48 minutes after you complete the initial one so every in-game day in Grand Theft Auto Online you will be able to relaunch an ammunition delivery. As you guys can see on the minimap there are some enemies behind me. They are driving mesas today which are a bit faster than the usual vehicles. A lot of the time these guys will be driving gang burritos which are very very slow and unfortunately today I have been killed. So don't worry if you do get killed out of this vehicle you will simply respawn close by and you can go and get back in. Now you do have a 15 minute time limit in order to do this mission which is plenty of time. Usually I, I have not struggled with this and I have been doing these deliveries quite often on the Xbox version of the game. Now upon completing your first ammunition delivery, you will get $150,000 for your efforts. However, this is only for the initial one that you do. For every one that you do after completing the first one, you will only get $50,000, which is still quite a bit of money for the work that you have to do, all things considered. As you guys can see, I have just received $150,000 because this is the first time that I've done this on my PC character. So if you guys buy a bunker this week when they're on sale, this is a pretty good way to recoup some of your money. And every 48 minutes you can go ahead and earn another $50,000 using this method. So anyway, let's get back to the bunker and let's go into the more traditional way of earning money with it. Now with the original way of earning money in the bunker, it does take quite a bit of time but it is very lucrative and I definitely recommend doing it. In order to earn money the traditional way through the bunker, which as you guys can see you can earn quite a lot of money I've earned almost 51 million dollars with my bunker in Grand Theft Auto Online. My total sales because I know somebody's inevitably going to ask, this is glitched. This number is glitched. I have not done 2031 sales. There is absolutely no way. The number hasn't gone up since I did my last sale. So makes no sense. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Now how this place works is basically you provide the bunker with supplies. So you will make this bar full and then when this bar drains you will make a certain amount of stock or you will make a certain amount of research progress. Then once you have a certain amount of stock level you can go into the sell stock tab and then launch a sale mission from your bunker. Now before we get any further into this we're going to go over all the tabs within the computer in your bunker. So of course the first tab here is the resupply tab. Now this is where you can launch steel missions for supplies in your bunker. Upon completing these missions you will get a certain amount of supplies depending on the mission that you do or you can buy supplies for $75,000 and this will fill up your supply bar all the way. Now I always recommend buying supplies unless you do not have a fully upgraded bunker. If you don't have a fully upgraded bunker you should always steal supplies. Next up we have the research tab. Now my research is fully complete so there's no active project here as you guys can see and I have no ability to fast track my research. There is also the view unlocks tab here where you can see all of the possible research things that you can unlock using the research in the bunker. Some of these are really useful, some of them are absolutely garbage and not worth getting like pretty much all the camos as cool as they look they're not exactly very worth it. Of course you have the all category, you have the things that you have unlocked and then you have the things that are still locked for you. Now in the research tab right on the front of it it will tell you your research progress and your supply level very similar to the resupply tab. Next up we have the manage staff tab. Now this is unique to the bunker. No other business in Grand Theft Auto Online really has this. Now, this is where you can select what you want your staff to do. 
If you want to make the most money, you should assign all of your staff to manufacturing because they will manufacture weapons the fastest because there's more staff working on it. You can also fully assign your staff to research. Now this is for doing your research as fast as possible. Or of course you can assign staff to both, which is like 50-50. You'll make some money and you'll also get some research done. So if you want to make money, assign staff to manufacturing. If you want to get research done, assign staff to research. If you want both to get done but slower and less money, assign staff to both. Now this is arguably the most important tab in this entire computer and that is the upgrades tab. As you guys can see, I have the equipment upgrade, the staff upgrade, and the security upgrade. Now for those of you who are new to the bunker, you should always upgrade the equipment first. It is the most expensive option, but it is also the option that does the most for you. So if you get the equipment upgrade, it says right here, it will speed up your manufacturing and research times and improve the overall value of your stock and allow your supplies to stretch further. So say you have full supplies and without the equipment upgrade, you'll only make one eighth of the waste stock, but if you have the equipment upgrade, you'll make say one sixth. Then we have the staff upgrade. This basically makes it so it's faster and it improves the overall value. It does not allow your supplies to stretch further though. So initially you're going to want the equipment upgrade because supplying your bunker is going to be the biggest pain in the ass that you can possibly think of. So get the equipment upgrade first, then get the staff upgrade. Now the security upgrade is interesting. I have the security upgrade purchased on my PC. However, I have not bought this on my console character. And what I've noticed is that no matter what you do, your bunker absolutely never gets raided. My bunker has literally never been raided in Grand Theft Auto Online, and I've had this thing since the day that it came out. So I would completely avoid getting the security upgrade. It is a complete waste of money, unless it makes you mad that you don't have all three upgrades done. Completely avoid security. You really do not need this. So now I'm going to show you how to make money as a solo player with the bunker and what I like to do. So first of all, I will go to the resupply tab and I will buy supplies every single time because like I said, my bunker is fully upgraded. Now the supplies are en route and this usually takes right around 10 minutes for the supplies to arrive and then it will eventually start making stock once the supplies do arrive. Now I know I just spent $75,000 right there as you guys saw. So you guys are probably thinking, oh no, well you're down 75 grand now. I'd rather just steal supplies. Well, in Grand Theft Auto, there's a lot of ways that you can make $75,000 back really, really fast. So I would not worry about it too, too much. I figured I would also mention in the bunker, this is where you keep your mobile operation center. So if you guys are confused why you can't buy a mobile operation center, you have to own a bunker in order to own this thing. And of course it is stored right here, as you guys can see. So now we have to wait for these supplies to arrive in the bunker and then we have to wait for them to start making stock. Now, like I mentioned, it does cost 75 grand initially, however, there are a lot of ways to make that money back. For example, you can head outside of your bunker and you can just start doing headhunter missions. You can do payphone hits if you have an agency, security contracts, anything like that. You can join other players who are doing those as well. There's basically a ton of ways to make your $75,000 back. Those $75,000 worth of supplies are being turned into product that you can then sell in the bunker. So I'm going to check back with you guys once the bunker has turned those $75,000 worth of supplies into product that we can then go and sell. All right, boys. And as you guys can see, if you look in the bottom right corner, my supplies have been used in order to make my stock. Now, I do believe something weird has happened here because typically when I would go to sell to Los Santos after spending 75 grand on supplies, I would be able to sell to Los Santos for 210,000. However, today it is $336,000 as you guys can see, and I only purchased 75 grand worth of supplies. So I'm not sure if this is part of the bonus that has been going on with the bunker as part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC. However, today it seems like we're gonna be able to sell for $336,000. Now typically after only one resupply has been done, there will only be one sale vehicle that you will ever have to deal with. So as long as you only do one purchase of a resupply and then go to sell, it will always be one vehicle. You will never get two vehicles. Now what I like to do before I launch a sell mission is I like to buy supplies again so that there's a new shipment of supplies on the way so that when I'm in my sell mission, hopefully by the time I'm close to being sold, the supplies will have already arrived and will have started making me even more money. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and launch this sale mission and I'm going to show you guys, fingers crossed, that hopefully this is still one vehicle. And of course, it isn't. And something's gone wrong here, boys. I'm not going to lie. Something has definitely gone wrong here. Because the entire point of me showing you this sale mission was to show you that you only get one vehicle. So anyway, I got to hustle and try to get this sale mission done. And as you guys can see, I have completed the sale mission and I have received 336 grand. Now I was really lucky that that sale mission was as close as it was 
to my bunker. Um, I do have a pretty good bunker location. A lot of the sail missions are in this general area. So I'm kind of blessed, I guess, really. Now I want everyone to fully understand that that usually does not happen. When you buy supplies for $75,000, usually you will get $210,000 that you are able to sell. And that is the perfect amount to always get one sale vehicle only. Meaning that you as a solo player in an invite only session, for example, or a friend session or a solo session, whatever you want to sell in, will only have one vehicle and you will have like roughly a 15 minute time limit. Sometimes if you get one of the harder sale missions, you'll get 30 minutes, but you should be able to complete it as a solo player really, really easily because there is only one vehicle that you have to sell. Now, I apologize for not being able to show you guys that. This is my second time recording this video, and this is the second time in a row that this has happened. So I'm really not sure what's going on with my game. I don't know if it's the session that I'm in. But for you guys on console, you might press something different, probably like the D-pad or something like that. And then I guess when you go out, you get griefed in a solo lobby constantly hmm well that's interesting i'm in an invite only session and i i definitely didn't invite that guy to play with me but normally you'll be able to make a hundred and thirty five thousand dollar profit off of doing one of these sale missions so you spend the seventy five thousand dollars once the supplies are made you sell for two hundred and ten thousand dollars making you a one hundred and thirty five thousand dollar profit which is pretty nice and in the meantime while your bunker is making the product that you are going to sell you can be doing other things like i mentioned earlier headhunter payphone hits anything that you want to do you can run that sort of stuff and make some extra money while your bunker is making you money and then at the end you get a pretty easy sale mission even doing the double vehicle sale mission as a solo player is still relatively easy a lot of that is because my bunker is in one of the better locations of the game this is the farmhouse bunker and a lot of the sales are in this general area of the map right here so i do have a bit of an advantage there if you were at the chumash bunker it would be a little bit harder for example but for the most part you could still probably do it as a solo player even with two sail vehicles so anyway guys that is my guide on how to make money with the bunker as a solo player in grand theft auto online again apologies that i couldn't effectively show you the sail mission that i wanted to but it doesn't seem to be happening for me right now and i'm really not sure why if you guys enjoyed this video if you found it useful or helpful a like is of course very appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care Hey,